To create a test or quiz, simply go to the location in your course where you want the quiz to appear and use the Add Materials button to select Add Online Test or Quiz. Name your quiz, assign points, add a due date, and choose a grading category. Attach files or add links or curricular alignments if desired. Under the Advanced Options, you'll see the test or quiz defaults to Published, which allows students to see the test in the course and on the calendar if you assign a due date. This does not mean they will necessarily be able to take the test, though. You can limit that later, but allow the test to be published on the calendar so everyone knows it's coming up. Once finished, click Create. You will be taken to the Questions tab where you can build your quiz. To add a new question, click on the Add button on the right side of the dotted line and choose the desired question type. Currently, this feature supports the following question types. True or false, multiple choice, ordering, short answer essay, fill in the blank, and matching. Each test or quiz appears in the gradebook and is automatically graded unless there are subjective questions. You can always manually override quiz or test grades from your gradebook too. Once you select a question type, you get a rich text editor where you can add pictures and text. There is a math formula editor also. The options below the question box allow you to assign the correct answer and assign a point value. When you're done with that question, choose Create Question, and you return to the Questions tab where you can add additional questions. The Settings tab lets you enter instructions that are displayed to your students before they take the test, and this is also where you can set the test's availability. You can set it so that a test is published, but students can only access your test on a certain day or date range. If a student clicks on the name of the quiz from the calendar before that date or date range, they'll get a message that the test isn't available yet. You can also enforce time limits and decide how many attempts students may have. Randomizing order shuffles the order of your questions, so each student will see the questions presented in a different order from peers. If enabled, Question Review allows students to see an overview page at the end of the test or quiz where they can review their answers before submitting. Resumable allows students to resume an incomplete submission, but this is not an option if you chose to enforce a time limit. And View Submissions allows students to view their submissions after they have submitted the test or quiz. Selecting Yes with Correct Answers allows students to immediately see how their answers compared with the correct answers for the test, which is particularly helpful for practice quizzes. When finished, save your changes. The Preview tab lets you view the test from a student's view, and the Results tab is where you can view results, which are automatically synced with the gradebook. Test questions with assigned correct answers are auto-graded. If you include short or long answer questions, you will need to grade those questions before a student's final grade on the quiz is available. You can always go back to edit your quiz by clicking on its name. You can add more questions or change answers. If you change an answer after students have already taken the quiz, student results are regraded and quickly updated in the gradebook. To change the overall points a quiz is worth based on new questions you add, use the gearbox and choose Edit. Unfortunately, the max points for the quiz or test do not update automatically when you add or remove questions. Try creating a quiz or test in your practice course. Experiment with adding in various question types and adjusting quiz settings.